Welcome to the Humble Race. I'm Drew Bain. I'm 31 years old, so I'm mad old to be in college. But uh, sometimes that's the way life goes, you know? I was born in Edmonton, Alberta, and I moved to Toronto when I was 25 years old. I signed with Yuck Yucks. I'm a stand up comedian, I should say that first. I've been doing stand up since I was 19 years old. Now, please get that buzz going. Pretty nice performer. The very funny, the hilarious Drew Bang! I signed with Yuck Yucks when I was 25 and I moved to Toronto, and I've been doing stand up all across the country ever since. I want to get into a job that is of service to my community. When you see people you admire, you have to ask yourself, why do you admire them? And when I have, whenever I saw firefighters, I always had admiration for them. I see myself in a fire department uh, in a full-time position. The Humber Race will test creativity, determination, mental acuity, and the bond each team member has with each other. On today's show, we have the pre-service firefighter training program versus the radio broadcasting program. The two teams competing are... Josh and Mark from the firefighter training program. I chose Humber Fire Program because uh, I did volunteer firefighting before. I wanted to further my studies with this program and I heard it was the best uh, amongst them in Canada. The instructors are all firefighters within Toronto and the Mississauga area. My ideal job would be to be a firefighter within Ontario. Well, I chose Humber's Fire Program because I had siblings who already went to Humber and they told me Humber is just a great place and I learned that it was one of the first in Ontario and one of the best. My favorite thing about this program is probably the team aspect of it, uh, being able to work with uh, many other people and enjoy my time doing whatever I'm assigned to do. Carolina and Roshan from the radio broadcasting program. During the pandemic, I decided to do a little bit of a career change and the radio broadcasting uh, program definitely stood out to me. I feel like I'm a good communicator and I'm very interested in a lot of media stuff. So it just felt like a good program for me to get into. Hi, I'm Caroline Verbleski. Um, so the reason I got into radio was because I love using my voice. I love having that whole music aspect. I love all the hands-on that it is in creating the show. Welcome to the Humber Race. My name is Massimo and I'm your host today. Contestants, are you ready for this challenge today? Yeah. All right, this race will begin in three, two, one, and let's go. In the first challenge, each team member will have to complete the bowline knot and get it approved before moving on. More points will be awarded to the team that can complete this challenge first. Welcome contestants. And three, two, one. Go. This is not for a faint of heart. All right, let's tie the knot. This challenge is tying the bowline knot. And in fire, this knot is typically used to hoist heavy equipment as well as uh, tie around large objects and secure them. So I'll just, I'll demonstrate how to do the bowline knot which the contestants will do. This is the bowline knot. Yeah, good. 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 
got a Roshan. Do I have experience tying knots? My experience goes back to grade one when I was taught to tie my shoe. From when I did learn to tie a knot, I have a lot of experience. My grandpa always used to say, if you don't know knots, tie lots. Take your time, you had it a million times. Yeah, you're good, you're good. You're good, man. When you hear please think of all the possibilities. No, let's go this way. What? In the second challenge, teams will record voiceovers and create Foley that match the video shown. Foley is the creation of sound effects that appear in movies, TV shows, and other media in post-production. When you hear hoofbeats, think of all the possibilities. What could this be, Josh? I don't know. Maybe we have to do something with these props here. Uh, okay, do you want to do the sound effects and all the voiceover? Yeah, sounds good to me. Okay. So, when should I, like, throw the leaves a little bit, too, and, uh... Um, for the second take or for the first take? Yeah, for the second take, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, for the second take, maybe, uh, let's say, crinkle the leaves. Yeah, like, with the wind, for the sound of wind, that'd be, I think that'd be good. Oh, yeah, doing this together, like... Yeah, and then have, like, the, have, like, the little crickling of the leaves. Yeah. I think that'd be good. Yeah, yeah. How heavy do you want the wind to blow? Like, super windy or just, like, a little, like... Breeze. You can make it super windy, why not? <laughs> Let the hair flow. Yeah. And then like for the crackling, I would like kind of have this. And then I was oh, even sure. thinking like breaking this to have like a, well, I already broke it, but. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> you can pick it again. Yeah, yeah. So do then, this together and then the hands and then. Yeah, then the hands are just. I'll, you could even. I'll do uh, some dance moves for it. You could get even, the like... rhythm. Is he's like poking the fire, like the uh, the coals? Yeah, yeah. But does does that sound like similar to it? That's kind of like rocks, right? Maybe a little bit quieter. Yeah. Don't put super hard into it. All right. Because like, I kind of crackling these. So, eh, yeah, yeah. You've reached the age when giving up isn't who you are. Is this the age of knowing how to make things happen? So why let chickenpox get in the way? Talk to your doctor about up and up. Side effects include drowsiness, dizziness, headaches, cough, runny nose, sore throat, sweating, memory loss, shaky hands, spontaneous jazz hands, inspiration, respiration, aspiration, hallucinations, and potentially more chickenpox than you originally had. Not recommended for children or adults or the elderly. But it's great. Please use it. Found at local pharmacies near you. What do we do? Challenge two. When you hear hoof beats, think of all the possibilities. We gotta do sound effects. You wanna do sound effects? Yeah, I'll do the voice over. Alright, perfect. We're gonna do it in takes, so. though. Oh, are we're we? We're gonna do take one, concrete, gravel, fire, just oh those things. Oh my god, I thought you were doing all of them. No, no, because if you have to go through all of those things, it's gonna be too oh. hard. So you're take one, you're just concrete, gravel, okay. and fire. Well, and then take two, it'll be now. just those three things. Yeah. 
Take it from the top again. What is time? Time is always moving slowly. I'm just trying to be a better man for me and my family. This long life feels like a very, very long journey. I'm not just trying to be a man of success. I'm trying to be a man of values. In the third and final challenge, teams will throw ping pong balls into plastic cups which contain clues that they will then have to unscramble before moving on to their final destination. More points will be awarded to teams that can complete this task first. Okay, where do we go? Woo! Take this if you want to live. What? Read it. What does it say? Oh, um, if you can make your shots, you won't be wrong, and this won't take long. Go into the studio. So, go. you go this way, I go this way? I'll be right here, yeah. You go this way, I go that way. I gotta make these shots, yo. Got some clues in there. I, get ready for my clues. Get it, go! Oh. Woo! Get the clue, not the ball. Get the clue. Got a clue. So you go, you run to the wall. <laughs> <laughs> If you can make your shots, you won't be wrong. And this won't take long. Go into the studio. Yeah. It's a competition. Oh, you're going down, my man. I don't know about all that. I don't know about all that. I don't know about all that. The most was the walking to pick up the balls after. Do I take the cup out? It's, yeah, yeah, keep wasting time. Keep wasting time. That's good. Oh man, can we really be playing cup pong so I can be winning? Oh. Put that one upside down. That one's upside down. Why are you funny? Mark right now, he's showing Josh a couple clues. Josh is trying to figure it out. I'm sure Josh is. He's gonna figure it out. Oh, sweater. Woo! Got one You're more. You're still going down. Got one more. Where are they? Where are they? Have I played cup pong before? I would say that I'm a seasoned cup pong vet. Yeah, yeah, keep wasting time. You just gotta watch out for me. You're doing great, buddy. Okay, got two more. Two more. Walmart, you can do it. Keep, keep going. The finish line is in reach. Yes. The one. Uh, the finish line is in reach? Yeah, keep. Oh, God. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Wait for me. Wait, wait, wait. Run, my man. Run. I'm, I'm going, man. Oh, 
Come on, Josh. Let's go, Josh. Yeah, I'm going. Let's go, Josh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's go. And here come the winners. Let's go. Congratulations, Mark, Josh. Thank you. Team Humber Fire. After looking through the footage and looking through all the events, you two have won the Humber race. Yes! yes! Air five. This is the trophy that both of you will be receiving. You did it, Josh. So, after this event, how did you think that everything went facing those tough competitors? Um, some aspects were hard, but I think that Radio Humber did, uh, did their best. Yeah, they were a great competition, yeah. but I mean, we're the winners, so. <laughs> You're the winners. And so, did, was there ever a point that you thought you were not gonna win? Yeah, when they beat us uh, in the third challenge, I was like, that's it, yeah. they've won. Well, congratulations, fellas. Roshan, Carolina. Unfortunately, after looking at the footage, it appears that you two were no match for the clearly superior what? Humber fire team, which, I mean, we kind of knew from the start. I'm pretty unbiased, oh, it's okay. Oh, my goodness gracious. I know. And even though it did this appear you two ran a lot more, you still were not able to figure it out. After that event, and after all three of those events, was there anything that you would have done differently? Not ran so much. Uh, probably <laughs> petitioned for another host. <laughs> okay. All right. Good question. Good, good answer. I mean, I disagree, but, you know, that's all right. Thank you for watching the Humber Race 2021. Hopefully, you'll be able to join us next year and see all these contestants' pretty faces without masks. Have a great night.